Hi guys, it is Tammy with Cheers to Creativity. And I haven't been this excited about stencils in a very, very long time. But my set from Essential Stencil arrived just before I left to go teach. By the way, it was fabulous to be able to teach in person. I really, really do miss that. And I wanna show you the August stencil of the month. And then I wanna show you a fun background I played with today. And uh, let's see if we can do a quick project. It needs to be kind of quick because um, my son is upstairs and I don't know how much time we really have, but we're gonna see what we can do. So I'm gonna turn you down so I can show you the stencils. Actually, I can show you those first. So the actual stencil of the month club, da -da -da -da, actually comes with three full big size stencils. And these are awesome. So first we have doo -doo -doo, this one. It's sweater, sweater weather. Give me all the fall things. Home is where your pumpkins are. Leaves are falling. Pumpkin spice is calling. And these awesome pumpkins down there. So that is one of the three that you get with the stencil of the month club. Here is some more of the words that come with the stencil of the month club. Football is my favorite season. Tailgate tackles and touchdowns. Football and fall y'all. Food, football and friends. Game day and this awesome football. I love football. All right. And the third one with the stencil of the month, it's kind of the one we're gonna play with tonight, I think. And it is this round that has pumpkin pie and then all this other lovely wordage, but I'm gonna try to put it on a round, but I'm gonna show you a fun background first. But before we do that, there's always an option to do an add-on for this, the essential stencil stencil of the month. And this month's add-on, oh, I remember that. Fall is my favorite, autumn skies and pumpkin pies, and home sweet home with the pumpkin as the elf. How cute are those? If you watch the Essential Stencil Ambassadors tonight was Amanda, and she showed some really cute ideas to do with these on some of the smaller four by 12 um, canvases that are easily, you can easily get like at, um, oh, I'm losing my mind, Michaels, anyhow. If you pop on, please just say hi, just so I know you popped on. Um, it's a really late time for me to be doing this. And if you would have uh, a desire to let other people know that you're watching, that would be awesome too. It really makes a big difference. Okay, so I wasn't gonna do this, obviously. So I'm gonna show you first, do to do this background. This is not what we're doing tonight, but I'll just show you the background. How fun is that buffalo check? just as a subtle background to something that's a little busier. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Rhonda. I don't have my iPad, so when I do turn you down, I'm not going to see you so much, but I'll try to peek every once in a while at the comments. So I'm going to show you that first, okay? So I'm moving my stencils off. I did come home, and when I decided I had to do this, I, I very quickly painted around um, with golden straw. And to do this technique as a background, you want your colors to be kind of subtle. So I don't want to go white, black, or red and white. I want these to be a little more background color. And so that's what I'm going to show you first. Let's see if I can turn us right side up, upside down, and all those things. Give me just a quick sec, please. And I always like to double check that I'm doing things the right way. Yep, that'll be right. Okay, so. Like I said, this is golden straw. And I just base coated it because I knew I was only gonna have so much time. This is painter's tape. Um, frog tape works just as well, probably even better. But I'm gonna eyeball my center, okay? I used this tape earlier, so I'm actually uh, recycling. And then I'm gonna use a little piece of it just as a um, spacer. It would help if I put that on straight. Then I'll take another piece. The one I did earlier today was much bigger than this is, so that's why I have so much overlap. Pressing it down. I'm gonna use my little spacer. Move over here. And I think this will be long enough. 
Mm, maybe not. Uh, we'll see. I might have to run and get more tape. Okay, there's that. Pressing it down. I'm gonna go the other way. Hey, this background technique that I'm gonna show you, one, like I said, you wanna have your colors be pretty similar in color, but you want it to be enough so it's gonna show the difference. So what I'm gonna use for the stripes is gonna be antique gold. Um, all deco art colors. This one over here. Got this other one here. Again, way too long, but that's okay. All right, so that's about right. So here's the fun part. I'm gonna take my contrasting color, which isn't super contrasting, it's just kind of contrasting. Antique gold. Antique gold's a little darker than marigold, okay? And I'm not gonna grab a brush. I'm grabbing some baby wipes. And I'm gonna take the baby wipes and I'm just gonna ball them up a little bit, okay? I'm gonna dip into my darker paint and I'm just going to, let's see if I can bring you up just a touch. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're gonna go up. Uh, whoops, that didn't break you, but go up, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see how about that, that. So there you should see more of the board. Okay. Close enough, okay. So I've got my baby wipe, my baby wipes and my paint, and I'm just going to wipe this on here. I'm hoping this is gonna be dark enough. I might need to go something a little darker. Let me take a peek. Oh, I can see it. This is gonna be subtle, but it's gonna be awesome. So I'm just picking up the, with the baby wipe and I'm wiping it. If I did want this to be a little darker, I could go maybe add a touch of brown to it. We'll do that. I think I'm gonna add just a tiny, 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 tiny touch of brown. Give me a second, because I have to go back over that. And there's my antique gold. And I'm just gonna mix that, okay? I'm gonna brush mix that. So, so I just made it a tiny bit darker. So I'm gonna just brush back over that. Don't want it to be brown brown. I just want it to be a little darker than what I just did. I'm not back and forthing a lot. I'm just kind of swiping it through. This is gonna be very subtle. And it's not gonna be as impressive when I do the first pull up of the tape as it is when I do the second. So you gotta stick around, you gotta hang on. Okay, so you see all I've done is applied it with the baby wipe, set that off to the side, and I'm gonna pick up my tape. I'm just gonna hang on to it because I'm gonna use that tape again. A tiny bit of a bleed through here, but I think we're gonna be okay. I know it's subtle. I want it to be subtle because my, my stencil I'm gonna use is gonna be pretty busy. So I'm gonna need to grab a blow dryer. Let me grab a Q-tip here real quick. Q-tip. Just moisten it just a little bit. I'm just gonna lighten that part where it bled just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. Just grab the blow dryer. This was not planned, people. There's something about using that baby wipe that makes it dry super, super quick. Let me take a quick little peek. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Janice. Hi, Deb. Now I'm gonna use the same tape I just used. <laughs> That's now sticking together. <laughs> and I'm gonna go the opposite way. And again, I'm eyeballing this, but I'm gonna press down both edges. Um, I actually like frog tape a little better. 
I think it, um, the edges seal a little better, but we're gonna be fine with this. Sorry, this makes it easier for me to be a little closer if I do it in the middle. So again, I base coated this board, this round board with um, golden straw. And then I did mix a tiny bit of brown in with my antique gold to do my darker stripe. This is just a really fun way to get a Buffalo check look Y'all know I love the essential stencil Buffalo Checks um, stencils, so you know I use them. But sometimes you want something that is just a little more subtle. Okay, so I'm going to grab a couple more baby wipes. I could use the same ones, but hey, <laughs> why? So, oops, I goofed. I poured the wrong color, so give me a sec. So I've got some antique gold and I'm just going to do a couple drops of brown within it and I'm going to wad up my baby wipes and mix those colors together just make it a little darker and I'm going to go back over my stripes the other way So if you just popped on, I got to teach in person tonight and it was so nice to actually have, <laughs> have something that I haven't had for a good, oh, year plus probably. So it's good that we have some things that are a little more back to normal. We're getting more back to normal. Hey, leave your questions. I'll go back after I'm done doing this and I will answer anything that you have. Um, like I said, I got my stencils. I was so excited. I felt bad as my mind was wandering as I was supposed to be teaching a, how to paint on a brick tonight. I did. I, 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 I taught it quite well. <laughs> but I kept thinking about these stencils and what I could do with them. And this wasn't even my original plan, but hey, it'll work. So I'm making sure it's dark enough that I can see it. Just real quick across. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside, and I'm gonna take my tape off. Isn't that fun? So I've got a couple spots that, you know, might need a little cleanup, but remember, I'm doing a stencil on top of it, so I'm not gonna be as concerned about the background, but you've got that fun buffalo. Check, okay. So, I'm gonna hit it with the blow dryer just super fast. takes like no time for it to dry. I just recapped. Okay, great. So just in case you didn't hear me, background was golden straw. And I mixed just a couple drops of dark chocolate in with my antique gold, just so it had a touch more contrast. And now, and now I'm going to, best that I can, center, this, <laughs> a circle on a circle that I can't see the whole thing. It might be interesting. Okay, so about, about, it's a little tricky too because you've got your circle and then you've got this little, little banner below it. Now I could choose not to do the banner below it, but I really kind of like it. Okay, so I think that's about right, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna tape it down on the edges. 
and my son may not let us finish it, but we're sure going to try it. Okay. So, when I saw this on the sheet that they gave us, doo -doo, um, this was done all in pretty much one color with a little darker color. Where did I put that? My goodness. All right. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. We're going to do our own thing anyhow. So, we're going to pick a couple colors. I think I'm going to do the pumpkins in a brighter orange. Maybe use a little green or a little, maybe even the orange and the leaves too. That'd be kind of fun. And then I'm going to use a darker brown on the lettering. Seriously, what did I do? Here. Okay, let's do it. Let's grab a plate that I didn't grab. <laughs> it's okay, we use this. I'm gonna start with some jack-o'-lantern orange, and I'm gonna do that for my pumpkins. And they're little, so just to save a little time, I'm gonna grab a sponge little orange, and I'm just going to do the pumpkins with this. I think they'll show up. Might have to peek. Ooh, we're going to need to go darker, okay? Let's go darker. So this is burnt orange. Let me sponge, okay? Don't want it to be too much paint on there, so... I could do the stem in the same color, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. So that's gonna be that color. I think I'm gonna do my mug in this color as well. And I'm gonna do pumpkin spice in that color too. This is burnt orange. I'm gonna have to hold it down a little bit so it doesn't bounce too much on me. So the stencil, this is the August stencil of the month. It just arrived in my doorstep today. So you can go to stencilofthemonthclub.com and you can sign up and you could be getting the August stencils as well that are fabulous. Make sure you use Cheers when you do and you'll get a discount. All right, so I've done my pumpkins and my mug and my, what is that, pumpkin spice. Come on, Tammy. In that color. Now I need to, do, 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 do. I want this to be brown, that to be brown. I don't know, hmm. Apple cider, candy corn. And I'm also working with whatever colors I have somewhat available to me. So I'm going to, to skip so there this maybe the candy corn should be done in that color too why not okay uh oh ryan may not let us finish this we're gonna try we're gonna try we're gonna try <laughs> okay so here's candy corn i'm just gonna peek yep i, oh, I want to make sure that i could see this color and i can see it very well okay so Again, I just used the sponge just because it was here, okay? I'm going to snip that off. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the dark chocolate. And I'm going to use that. Just a little bit of it just for my stems. A little bit on my pumpkin that's okay all right i'm going to switch to an essential stencil brush this round size um i'm gonna have to measure it because i grabbed it just because it seemed like it was about proportionally correct but while i've got you with the rounds 
you go to Craft Deals, D-E-A-L-Z, right now, they have everything on their site on sale, and there are all sorts of sizes of rounds that you can use from quarter inch to half inch to three quarter inch. All right. Do, 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 do. I'm going to do some of these leaves first. What am I going to do with those leaves? I don't like to think of them as... I don't think the yellow is going to show up. Let's, I'm going to go back to this this other orange and just see if I can... You know what? No. Here's the one that's in between. This is Warm Sunset, so it's a little... It's Warm Sunset. That's Burn Orange. So I think that might be enough of a contrast. So I'm going to pick up that. Ahead and lightly using my sponge. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here though. I'm gonna I'm not gonna just stick with this. I've got this color down. I'm gonna go ahead and put some yellow down on my little faux palette. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna same same sponge. Picked up just a tiny bit of yellow and I'm just gonna Dab a little of that on there, too. No idea what that's going to look like, but we're going to find out. Okay. I think I might need a darker brown than dark chocolate, especially for a round. Yeah, let's go with this. So this is raw umber. And I'm loading my brush, taking most of it off, offloading. And I'm going to try to be very careful swirling this around to stay out of my... But I like the circle. We're just hoping that the circle is where it's supposed to be when all is said and done. Hey, you know what? I get to experiment and tell you what works. And if it works, great. If not, I get to go back and play with it again. I have a feeling you're going to see some great projects from the ambassadors at Essential Stencil. I know I've got plans for a number of projects with these sets. Okay, I know I want that to be the dark. I'm getting a little more paint. I know I want this to be the dark. But I want hot cocoa to be the dark. So let's start there. Woo. I feel like that got a little wet, but we're going to see what happens, okay? A little shading on him in mug, I think. Hey, I appreciate you guys popping on with me tonight. I know it's late, especially, especially for me. I'm usually not stenciling it nearly 9 o'clock at night, but hey, when stuff that is this exciting happens, sometimes you just gotta. Are you guys getting excited for this? I think this is gonna be so cute. Uh, I'm trying to watch a couple comments, but it's really hard. I will, I promise, come back and look at comments. So that is hot cocoa, and I'm gonna do crisp apple the same way. I'm not sure about apple cider yet. We're gonna figure that out. So this line and then the crisp apple so this is a round and it's a little smaller than my normal 18 inches I'm thinking it's 12 but I'm not a hundred percent sure I am gonna grab there's always a ruler here except for today um, and tell you before I'm all done If I were worried about going over these letters too much, I could always tape that off. Crisp apple hot cocoa. So we've got pumpkin pie up there. Huh. Not 100% sure, but I'm going to go with the dark brown down here that says fall treats. I 
I am doing the swirling, but I'm really keeping a light pressure on it. I don't want it to bleed. And I'm not even going back into full paint. I'm going into my offload puddle to grab a little more paint because I don't think I need a lot more. All right, so I'm sitting here thinking, what can I do for pumpkin pie and apple cider? And I'm thinking I might want to go with a green. What do you think? Think a green would look good? Is your round from Craft Deals? Um, this, this round, I'm not sure is from Craft Deals. I can look in just a second. But this is a thicker one. This is a three quarter inch one. Craft Deals does them in quarter inch. This is a quarter inch one. You kind of see the edges? This is the one that I showed you the blue buffalo plaid on. And then they do them in half inch. And then they do do some in three quarter inch as well. So kind of depends on what you're doing with them. I, I like the quarter inch to the half inch size for door hangers because I just think they, um, oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to bring a little brown on the bottom of this pumpkin spice color. And that'll kind of like variegate it a little bit, I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I like, that's what I like for the door hangers a little better. But when I do my rounds that I put handles on and turn a, put a turn tray on, I like the three quarter inch ones. And those I get a lot at um, Home Depot or, oh, blank, uh, Menards, Lowe's, whatever your home improvement type stores like that are. So I'm kind of deciding if I could use a little, I don't know if I'd like that or not. That That's Hauser Green Dark. Ooh, that's Hauser Green Medium. Maybe we just want to go Hauser Green Medium. What do you think? Barn Red would look really good too. That's a great idea. Hang on one second. I'll grab a ruler to tell you the size. Oh, I like that, I like that, I like that. Okay, so ruler. It's more than 12. <laughs> Let's figure this out. Should have grabbed a tape measure. Okay, so if I go from here to here, that's 12. 15, 15 inches? I think it's a 15 inch row. I don't know if that's an odd color or not. Okay, so this is deep burgundy and this is Heritage Brick. I think we're going to go Heritage Brick. Okay. Don't really want to do that with the brown on my brush. So, do, 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 do. Another brush. Okay. Here is the Heritage Brick. Also an, a, a, um, a Deco Art Americana color. Yes, I could do this with a sponge as well. Hey guys, this is truly a fly by the seat of my pants to see how this turns out and not having colors ready. <laughs> but I'm kind of thinking I'm really gonna like, especially the design. I like that color, Ooh, it's pretty. Um, you know what? I know Craft Deals has all sorts of sizes. So, and a 14 inch certainly would work with this particular one because you're going to see I have a, a fair amount of extra wood. Now I'm going to just touch a little bit of that here and there on that leaf too. And All right, I'm kind of nervous. I think it's good. All right, the unveiling. Oh my goodness. Oh my. That is so stinking cute. If I want to make this a tray, I could put handles on it here or here, or I could just put a lazy Susan on the bottom and this could just be this fun little turn tray. 
like I said, my, but a little bit of my challenge was the fact that this is a circle, and but I wanted the fall treats on there too. So I needed to kind of, uh, uh, you know, do that, kind of figure that in. I like having a tiny bit of different color on the leaves. You don't see a ton of it. Um, I brushed a little dark brown on the bottom there. So that looks really, really cool. The, whoever suggested the, uh, the brick red, perfect to kind of like have a couple spots stand out. I love it. I think that is just adorable. So, do, 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 do. let's see what I can do here. Late night stenciling, not so bad, huh? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for popping on. I would love for you to share this. That way, I, I just think this is awesome. This is just a really cool thing. So again, this is from the August Stencil of the Month Club from Essential Stencil. And th there's not one, there is not one that I don't like. I mean, I love the sayings. It's, sweat, it's wetter weather. I can't say it, but I like it. Home is where your pumpkins are. Give me all the fall things. Leaves are falling. Pumpkin spice is calling. And these sweet, sweet um, little pumpkins. Hey, someone just said they came in late. And what was the background? Okay, I'm going to lift this up and show you. This is an easy way to do a subtle buffalo plaid. I love the buffalo plaid stencils from Essential Stencil, but sometimes you need something that, that's something, but not a lot. And I did this with golden straw. I put down painter's tape, and then between my painter's tape, I did um, antique gold plus a touch of uh, dark chocolate. And then we let it dry just really super quick, and then we reversed the lines for our tape, and that's how we got the buffalo check in the background. It works just as well to do a bolder colors, black and white, red and white, those kind of things. But sometimes just a little something, something, a little can be really attractive. This was the one that I said I'd done earlier today. Oops, let's turn you the right way. Um, and this was just done with Victorian blue and a navy blue. And then I did the funky little uh, tree cakes on top of those. But those are fun too. So check us out on our Facebook page. Obviously you're here already. And our website, we've made some changes to the website. We've gotten things um, updated. This is a in-person class we'll be doing, but I've got several online classes listed and I try to list at least the next couple weeks of Tuesdays, tips, techniques, and teachings that are always on Tuesday, but never always on the same time. Hey, thank you guys so, so much. Love that you were here. Love that you took time to, uh, Come see the new stencils with me. Again, if you use Cheers, when you check out at stencilofthemonthclub.com, you'll get a discount. You can also use that to get a discount on your regular stencils at essentialstencil.com. Hey, that's about it for me for tonight. I think that may be as much patience as I can ask my son to give me. Again, here's our finished product with the one of the stencils from the stencil of the month for August and using the very subtle buffalo check background. Okay, I know I'm going to be using that again because it's, it's just so fun. Who thought baby wipes could be so much fun? <laughs> Have a great rest of your Monday and I will be back on Tuesday, which is now tomorrow, and I'm going to be doing stacked pumpkins and I'm going to be using a couple different stencils from Essential Stencil to show you how you can mix them up to make different sizes. So that'll be fun. I think that's tomorrow at 10. Until I see you again. Thanks so much. Have a great, great rest of your night. Bye-bye.